The National Science Correspondent Bob McDonald is still here with us tonight to talk about something that did launch today. A contest for a chance to win $30 million, make history, and maybe even go to the moon. <laughs> Absolutely go Where to the moon. Where do I sign up? <laughs> well, Peter, you could sign up if you want to form a company to win the Google Lun Lunar X Prize, which is a prize to be the first private company to land a robot on the moon and rove around, go 500 meters, turn around and take a picture of yourself and the surrounding territory and prove that you've been there, you could win $30 million. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> and today, the first company to actually sign up and say they were going to do this is a company called Odyssey Moon, and there's a strong Canadian component to this. Uh, they're a group of rocket scientists, businessmen and entrepreneurs from England, the United States and Canada. And the prime contractor is MDA, the company that made the Canadarm mm. and Canadarm 2. So these are real rocket scientists who actually know how to build spaceships and send them there. And they believe that they can really pull this thing off and they may have a good chance of actually doing it. Now, have you got something to show Yeah, we have some animation here to show you what this might be like. They're going to use off-the-shelf technology. Send a robot that has to land softly on the moon, which is really hard, and then roll half a kilometer with a camera on it. It's to prove that it was there and look around not only at the scenery but back at the ship that carried it there. And this is all in the idea that in the future when NASA plans to send people there and build colonies like this that there will be private contractors, there will be business on the moon. And the X Prize is part of a whole tradition of trying to stimulate private enterprise. We already had the X Prize that was to put the first tourists into space, the uh, Spaceship One that was designed to just go up and back and win ten million dollars by running a spaceship twice in two weeks. They did that. So then they thought, okay, what would be the next competition to spur private enterprise into space? They said, let's go to the moon. So Google stepped up and said, sure, we'll, pr we'll put out 30 million bucks as the cash to win this, and now it's an open contest. Anyone in the world can do it, but the first companies that say, yeah, we're going to do this is Canadian. I think it's rather neat. But all kidding aside, like anybody could put forward a proposal. Yes, and the idea is to do the same thing for space that happened with aviation. Take it out of the hands of government and, and really expensive ways of getting around and give it to the private sector and say, okay, we can go there cheaply because when we do have these colonies, they're going to need things like supplies and all that. Well, NASA will probably be contracting these Canadians to say, well, bring us up the food, bring us up the supplies, the nuts and bolts. It's a whole new era that they're calling the new space, the private way of going to space. It'll be very interesting to see what happens. All right, Bob, thanks very much. Okay, Bob, Peter. Bob McDonald, the National Science Correspondent.